All right, let's go back to this Goldberg thing. So Goldberg Undertaker is the main event. It's the main event of the show, final match on the show. And they did not go two minutes. They went significantly longer. And practically the very first thing that happened is Goldberg goes for a spear. And just like in that chronic match 20 years ago, he goes for a spear and he hits his head on the post. He knocks himself out and he's bleeding everywhere. And at that point, like he's out of this match. And the Undertaker beats him up for a while and goes for the tombstone. And in like 100% of the incidents, don't listen to Hulk Hogan, in 100% of the cases, Undertaker protects his opponent and they do not land on their head. Well, Goldberg is KO'd. I don't know what he was thinking. He stuck his head out. He landed right on his goddamn head on this tombstone. Thought he was dead. So he's down. And they keep going. And Goldberg eventually makes a quick comeback. He goes for the jackhammer. And, like, he's not in great shape. Undertaker's not in great shape. It's 100 degrees out there. And he lifts the dude up, and he brain busters him right onto his head. Almost kills the Undertaker. Undertaker's down. Goldberg stands up. He's waiting for the dude to get up, but Undertaker's landing right on his head. So they get up, and they go for a spot, and they were supposed to do a reversal, and they both fall down on the mat. And Undertaker gets up, chokes, slams a dude, pins him, and they get the hell out of there. These well, poor he, he, guys, this was barely, a disaster. It was bad. Uh, well, once they had the knockout, it just fell apart, and that's just what happened. On the choke slam, um, Goldberg barely got up, and then there wasn't there another one. There was a, a tombstone attempt where they just both fell down. Yes, they right like, before they were going to do a reversal. It, they looked like going to be a reversal, which which is not an easy spot to do. And yeah, they just both fell down. Um, the first whatever it was, the first two minutes of this match or so were actually pretty well done. I was thinking like, man, this is is not bad. And and Bill Goldberg showed up. My God, that guy looked in great shape. I mean, for his age, and he didn't get word about this. It's not like he got for for when he first came back that that, that one year, um, when he had like, I don't know, he had a lot more time um, before you know when he was told about this that one before to get in shape as compared to this one, and then that other the whole run he pretty much knew it's you know whatever it's October mania. So you know once you get there, you can stay in shape to a degree. Although he had he had the bad shoulder the entire time. Which made it tough, but um, you know, he looked good. I mean, he looked great. You know, and, and the first couple of moves looked good, and then it fell apart. So that's what happened. And it's I don't. Goldberg think- was very upset afterwards. He explained to everybody they'd been knocked out, and he wants to redeem himself for this performance. And I'm sure the Undertaker does as well. And Under- I don't know looked- what they're going to do, but. Undertaker looked very unhappy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Under, Under, Undertaker really. Um, so I was a couple of thoughts on this. Number one, okay, as soon as this match was announced, I knew Undertaker was winning because, you know, that's just how it is. Um, and then when I watched the thing on Friday, um, I mean on Tuesday, I should say Friday, whatever. It's Friday today. When I watched the thing on Tuesday. It was like Undertaker's done, and we we know that we've seen you know his last couple of things, and Bill really he looked good, he came off good, and as soon as I saw it, it's like you know Bill has to you know he's not gonna win. I know he's gonna lose. If Bill was twenty years younger, like he'd be the guy. That's how awesome he was on that SmackDown show. Yeah, like, he would he, undoubtedly have been the yeah, guy if he were he, 20 but, years younger. Now, in this day and age, it'd be hard because he, he's he's not, you know, in this day and age, you have to be able to wrestle and everything, and, and that would... Well, he'd be 20 years younger. Yeah, but he was never that good as a as a, a wrestler. He was good He was good in limited roles. I mean, he's fantastic in limited roles. But today, you really, you know, like, you can't have a guy go in there and do two-minute, three-minute pay-per-view main events month after month after month and be the guy. Um, people would turn on him real quick. Um, I mean, if you just, you know, just the look and everything, sure, you know. And, and also, here's your thing. Today, if this was today... These guys don't know how to protect anyone, which we'll get to in a second with Lars Sullivan. Because actually, the Lars, the, the booking of of Undertaker and Bill was 
exactly what I expected. I don't want to say it's stupid. It was, but because you know, as soon as I saw the, the the skit and the way everything went down, 